Hey, Andy Broom, Vice President of CSG. I'm here with my good friend Anthony. And uh, Anthony, why don't you tell us what you what you got here today with us? Absolutely. So I'm Anthony Renato from Cards and Culture, a collectible shop in Baton Rouge, uh, Louisiana. And so I got a couple cards here today from one of my good friends from college. We played college baseball together. He's a regular for the New York Yankees, DJ LeMayhew. I've um, been starting to get into sports cards a little bit, and so I have some of his baseball cards here. And so I'm going to learn a little bit about what we're looking for on these thick cards, some of the patch cards and memorabilia stuff. I have my grading specialist, Jonah Smith, with me here, but. I'm gonna learn a little bit from Andy here and kind of educate me on what we're looking for uh, when these go to grading for DJ. Absolutely. All right, let's take a look at what we got. Yeah. So you know the the triple threads, a lot of the uh, the mem cards, obviously are thicker stock. Yep. <clears throat> and uh, you know the problem with thicker stock cards is they're more susceptible to damage in the pack, in handling, in holders. They they're just more delicate. Gotcha. And so <clears throat> you know it, it it's it can be harder to get high grades in the thick mem cards as opposed to the standard stock. Yeah. So um, we're gonna take a look at this one right here. Now this one is a one of one Jeff Bagwell auto jersey. Look at that smooth trick that he did with the hands right there. <laughs> that, was, that was smooth, like you've handled cards before. That was just, good. Just a few, <laughs> just a few, yeah. Um, we're gonna take a look at this one right here. Now this one is a one of one Jeff Bagwell auto jersey. <laughs> so yeah, well, so what I'm looking for right off the bat is yep. I'm gonna start with the autograph. Yep. Uh, it is a sticker autograph, however, okay. Bagwell has a Beautiful autograph, yeah, and, nice. and he signed a few stickers in his time, so <laughs> he's usually good about making sure it's on there, it's centered, it looks yeah. good. Definitely a 10. So nice. when we're grading the autographs, you know, some people ask, you know, is it about penmanship, is right. it about placement, things of that nature. And and the best rule of thumb to remember is on autograph grades, it's the physical condition of the autograph. Okay. So, uh, you know, and we've seen it all, but you know, player signs it, his thumb hits it, <laughs> stacks it up, whatever, yeah. those are things that are gonna affect the autograph. Now, the big problem with sticker autographs is uh, if the athlete is signing and goes off the sticker while it's on the sheet, which is common, that affects the grade. Gotcha. And so if it goes off once, generally speaking, it's normally a nine. Okay. Um, if it goes off more than once, that can lower the grade. And of course, any smudges or anything of right. that nature. And uh, But again, you know, it's a Bagwell auto. His autos are usually yeah. pretty dang nice. So. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, very nice. So uh, other than that, you know, people also ask, what about the condition of, of the mem pieces, right? The uh, the pieces, the jersey, patches, whatever they may be. And we don't we don't take the physical condition of the patch in, into play in the uh, in the uh, in the grade. Uh, you know, in hockey, I remember there's some jerseys I've seen that had blood on them. You know, that's, so that's cool. Though. It is cool. Yeah. It is very cool, and it does not affect the grade. Oh, so, okay. uh, you know, we get we have some some real allowances there for for the jersey. Very so, cool. um, the only time that you you would look for damage around the jersey piece is as we have on this triple threads here. We have the the card actually goes over the 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 mem pieces, right. and so these. It, you know, if you just push down easily or anything like that, they'll crease these small pieces here of the surface. And so we definitely want to watch. And this one is actually, uh, you know, more susceptible than, than say one like this card here, which has just the two round pieces here. Yep. Um, so that's something to watch for. Yeah, um, that makes it, sense. Now, as far as the thicker stock, what am I looking for on the thicker stock? Yeah. You know, the, the wear points on the thicker cards are generally the corners and edges. Okay. Um, they're they're going to take the damage. Uh, it seems like that that's the first place it happens. They're going to take the brunt of it. Okay. Um, and you know this card's cool. It's got the the wood type surface on on the card, yep. uh, and so that actually helps us. So that's going to be a little more durable nice. uh, than a paper stock. Um, and you know it's a beautiful card. The only the flaw I see is this corner here it does have a little lift yep. here. Yep. I don't know if you can see I that. Can see. I can yeah. see it when you pull it on the side too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can see it's lifted yep. up, and and that's just it's real common. You know that will affect the grade, yep. um, and uh, you know it's not gonna it's not gonna kill the grade, yeah. but it, it that is one of the problems with the thicker cards. Uh, they look awesome, but they don't always grade great. And that's just normal wear and tear, like you said, right? Getting out of the pack because it's not the normal size, and people might not be norm like used to that, right? Absolutely. It, well, it's it's kind of twofold. It's not just the handling, but it's also the production. And I don't know if you've been to uh, the, any of the facilities that print cards yet, because you got to make that trip. Yeah, no, I have them. That's pretty cool. That'd but cool. you know how they pack these out is you know these these cards are not um, in the regular print run, right? So they, they do the regular print run, say paper cards, right, right. and then these are uh, inserted at a specific rate into gotcha. the packs and okay. so being again being thicker cards in that process that that also I mean that may have happened gotcha. in the production so it, it might not be anything that's a user error or anything along that's those right. lines like literally open the pack and the cards just in batch or in in a eight or a nine yeah absolutely wow. yeah that okay. that that's that's the downside of the thicker cards right, right. Um, but as far as the handling that you know after the fact after they've been pulled 
you know, you want to be careful with the holders you use. You know, the, the, this holder in particular is made for, for thick cards. Yep. Um, so that's a good fit. Uh, it's in a penny sleeve. But as, a, as you saw my little trick, but this right. also highlights that, you can see how easy that comes out of right. there. Yep. So that's something that you have to watch for when handling these cards on, uh, you know, once they're pulled. Yep. Yep. And then if you don't mind, I want to say one more thing about yep. autographs since I have this one in my hand. This actually has three sticker autographs yep. on it. And so a question that I get uh, with autographs uh, a lot of times is, uh, how do you calculate the autograph grade if there's multiple autographs? And so it's, it's uh, you know, we're looking for the same thing. These are stickers, so we want to make sure none of them go off the sticker. That's the, kind of the first thing we look for. Yep. Look at the condition. But unfortunately, uh, when you have multiple autographs, the overall autograph grade is, is essentially going to be whatever the lowest of those autographs gotcha. are. So you could have perfect autographs and one, one goes off the sticker, then you're going to wow. have a non-auto overall. Wow. So, Fortunately, though, this awesome card here, uh, we, we do have um, all three of your stickers, all three are on, so this is definitely a 10 auto. Cool. Yeah. What about, so again, it might be out of your control, but what if the company who puts the, or the whoever's printing the cards puts the sticker on a little crooked? Say this was up a little bit and the signature was going up, how would that affect the grade? Yeah, again, <clears throat> the, the placement of the sticker, you know, while it might not be perfect, uh, we don't look at it as it's detrimental to the overall grade. Okay. Um, now, an example where it would be is if the sticker uh, may have a uh, foreign substance underneath it, and they Got placed it. it over the top of it. Yeah. Uh, I've seen where they are slightly crooked, but it also, they kind of crimped it a little bit. Yeah. And so things like that would affect the grade. But if it's just not, if it's on there, but it's just not straight, mm -hmm. uh, we don't take that into consideration. Gotcha, very cool.